What's up, my people? Before we start the show, make sure you like the video, comment on the commentary, and subscribe to the channel. Become a part of the GVG family, because without you, there's no us. And as always, we thank you, and all praises to the Most High. Now let's get into it. What up, everybody? It's your boy, Halle, back again. GVG Podcast, Detroit representing to the day that I die east side in the building. You know how we doing all that good stuff. Look, man. Today, we're going to be talking about something that hit close to home. You may not recognize it or you may. But what it is, is. There are things that are happening to the people who are just getting close they're getting close to Christ. They're getting close to the word. They're getting close to exercising the demons, as they would say. I was just reading Matthew in the Bible, and it was talking about how when you hear the word of the kingdom and you don't understand it, the evil comes and tries to uproot the seed that was implanted in your heart. There are a lot of people who are starting this new journey with the most high. There are a lot of people who saying, I'm starting this godly journey. I'm starting this, this holy journey. I'm starting this journey with the most high and with his son, the Messiah. And I'm going to be this and I'm going to be that. And they don't understand that there are circumstances that happen in your life that will test that new faith that you have. So if you're not grounded, if you don't understand, if you have eyes to see but don't see, if you have a, a heart to feel but don't feel, if you have ears to hear but don't hear, there's going to be things that are going to happen because the devil is trying to come in and take that seed out of your heart because if he if he doesn't take that seed out of your heart, it's going to take root. But that's the whole point of it. Your faith and your blessings are going to be tested. So if you're a young person, if you're an old person, the faith is new. So what you're dealing with is you have this new faith. And the devil or the evil side are they are going to say this person has new faith. If we don't disrupt them, if we don't distract them, if we don't take them off of this point, they are going to, in turn, create new followers of the most high. Their potential is going to be unlimited. So we have to snatch those seeds out of their heart so they don't take root. Understand people on today that you go through this. I go through this. Think about it. There are times when you have been saying, I'm going to, to go to church or I'm going to read this word or I'm going to be this godly person or I'm going to be this or that. And what happens? Something happens that tests your faith. Something happened that tests the person who you are trying to be. And you are either going to pass that test or you are going to fail it. If you are a person who says, I want obedience you're going to be tested in that area uh, and you're probably going to be disobedient before you're obedient. If you ask for strength, you are probably going to be weak and then you're going to have to come to a point to say, you know what? I was weak in this moment. I was lost, but now I am found. Now I have strength in this moment. But there are a lot of people who get to that test and they fail and they never get back to being strong. They stay weak. There are people who are asking for surrender and submission and understanding. And there's going to be a test that's going to happen to test your submission. And if you run away from that submission, that means that you will, you won't get to the point that you're supposed to be. So you keep going through test after test after test after test because you won't let the things happen that are supposed to happen to take effect. This is a big thing for my people. I want you all to understand that there has to be some crumbling before your breakthrough. 
You got to get broke down before you have a breakthrough. You got to get broke down before you have a breakthrough. Do you hear me? Is this resonating with you? There are things that are crumbling in your life. There are tornadoes. There are hurricanes. There are earthquakes. There are natural disasters that are trying to stop you from seeing the sunshine. But we know when the rain stops, the sun comes out again. These are called circumstances. Understand that there are circumstances in your life that are preventing you from seeing the sunshine. See, you only want God and you only want to praise the most high when it's good or you only want to praise him when it's bad. That means you are praising him and worshiping him and loving him based off circumstance. You are not loving him based on saying, I'm going to love you no matter the circumstance. I'm going to be with you. I'm going to walk with you. I'm going to hold your hand. I'm going to ask you to lift these burdens no matter the circumstance. Do you hear me on today, people? This is good teaching. Understand that if the devil can't get to you, he's going to get to the people you love. If the devil can't get to you, he's going to get to the people that you love. Imitation is the best form of flattery. There are imitation gods. There are imitation deities who are trying to take the place or usurp the place of the most high God, but they cannot do it. But in your mind, you can put them in that place. There are countless imitations, but evident limitations. Anyone who tries to be the most high God, they are limited. They have limitations that are evident and they are not God. You, you may say God comes from a Germanic word, but I get it for the sake of this conversation. I'm talking about God, the most high. He has many names. But we're for the sake of this conversation, we're talking about the most high God, the creator of all. Understand on today, people. You have a purpose. You have things in your life that are directing your GPS towards the greater things, the high calling, the most high in his heaven. There are demons, spirits, evil things that are put in place to be your opposition. They call it different levels, different devils. If you're on level one, you have a level one opposition. When you get to level five, you have a level five opposition. When you get to level 10, et cetera, et cetera. Meaning you're not going to be on level 10 and face a level one opposition. It doesn't work that way because your faith is being tested based on the level you're on. Your spirit is going to be tested based on the level that you are on. So there may be things that are in disguise. It could be your family. It could be your job. It could be money. It could be your spouse. It could be whatever you can think of, whatever we can name. There are things. It could be vanity. It could be fame. It could be, um, oh, I needed this acting role. It could be your stubbornness. It could be your ego. All of these things are going to be tested on the level that you are on. So understand on today, people, that the reason you are being tested at such a high level is because you're getting to the next chapter. And the evil, the opposition, they're just doing their job because they are sent there to, to try and make sure that you don't get to the next level. But when you overcome, you get to that next level and then there's more opposition. And I know people will say, well, what's the point? If every time I, I overcome something, something else happens, what's the point of living? Because you are pressing towards the mark of the high calling. You are getting to the point of heaven. You are getting to the point of overcoming. You are getting to the point where all of these things that come up against you, they just don't kill you and they make you stronger. 
Do you want to be strong or do you want to be weak? Understand on today, people, that you have something inside of you. You have something inside of you that is helping you. Your Holy Spirit, your connection to the Most High and His Son, you have something there that is helping you. It is not you that is overcoming. It is your faith that is overcoming. It is not you that is overcoming. It is your dependence that is overcoming. It is not you that is overcoming. It is your repentance that is overcoming. Understand this on today, people. Recognize. Be cognitive of what I'm saying. We live in a world where nobody wants accountability. Nobody wants responsibility. Nobody wants to seem as if they are imperfect. Nobody wants to fall short of the glory. Everyone wants to live a thousand years. Everyone wants to be young forever. Everyone wants to to have the best clothes, the best shoes, the best merchandise. No one is understanding the battles that they are dealing with. Because when you are on the side of the devil, he don't have to attack you. When you are on the side of darkness, you are dark. He don't have to attack you like he attacks the people of light. So whenever you are trying to get to a point of being light, you are going to be attacked because most of the things that are around you are darkness. The path to heaven is narrow. The path to hell is broad, meaning most of the people that you are around are going to hell. The world produces both clay and gold. Which one are you? The people that are clay, they fall for everything and stand for nothing. The people that are clay is worried about what Kim Kardashian wore and what girl is twerking and what Kanye did in Paris. You have to understand that the gold standard is different. The remnant is different. The few people who understand that no matter what's going on, I'm going to look to the most high. I'm going to exalt the most high. That is the gold standard. That is the remnant. Are you a part of the gold or are you a part of the clay? Because the clay is going to fall every time something comes up against them. The gold is going to be able to withstand whatever happens. Are you a diamond? Or are you something else? Are you a precious gem? Or are you something that anyone can find? If you're something that anyone can find, then that means you are a part of the masses. This is no disrespect to anyone, but analyze yourself. Are you a part of the masses or are you a part of the scarcity? Anyone can find lead and clay, but it takes a certain type of person to find gold and diamonds. Think about what I'm saying on today, people. This is real talk. This is real game. This is real spiel. This your boy, Halley. This is GVG Podcast. We exercising them demons. Think about what I'm saying. If you look at a race, if you look at people who do hurdles, they don't just get to run through. They have to jump over. In your life, you have hurdles. And if you don't jump over those hurdles, you don't win the race. Understand on today, people, those hurdles, those roadblocks are demons. Those roadblocks are people in your lives. Those roadblocks are spirits. Those roadblocks are the anxiety, the depression, the anger, the the fear. You have to get to a point where you you know that these are hurdles and I'm going to jump over them to continue my race to the most high. But understand on today that there is opposition that is trying to keep you from your full potential. They're trying to keep you from who you are. They're trying to keep you from spreading the most high's message to others. So this is a message to my daughter. This is a message to the young people. This is a message to the old people in this life. You are new in Christ. You are a babe in Christ. There are going to be a bunch of things that are going to test you. There are going to be big things that you don't even see. Family members, friends, jobs, whatever it is, there's going to be things that are going to test your faith. And if you fail, if you never get back up, See, we fail at times, but if you never get back up, if you go back to the ways of the old, there's going to be seven spirits, seven demons that are going to attack you even harder. And you will find yourself in the place of the pig pen. 
Like Darby say, you will find yourself in the place of the pig pen. He will let you get as low as you need to be to hit rock bottom and even more to understand that this ain't for you. This is your boy, Hallie. I love all of y'all. This is Real Spill that I'm talking on today. Special shout out to my mother. I love you. Special shout out to my father. I love you. We thank everybody for listening on today. And we're going to keep doing these audio podcasts along with the visual podcast. You know, they dropping every Thursday. We thank y'all for tuning in. And we radical out here, man. We going against the system. This is anti-system. We're not going and we going against the grain. We're not doing what everybody is doing. We're trying to equip you with tools so you'll be able to live in this life. This is purpose. But through this purpose, there's a lot of pain. There's a lot of things going on in my life and things that are going on in your life. But we're going to keep it going. We love you. This your boy, Hallie. It's GVG Podcast. Until next time, we out. Thank you for being a part of this experience. GVG appreciates every single one of you. I hope you came away from this video with a little more perspective, patience, understanding, and purpose. So until next time, we on Christ time.